Hey, this is Ryan with MOS Equipment. Previously, we made this DIY Faraday box, which is mill standard rated by way of the materials included. You can check out the link to our video for that. And then we had another video where we're adding this honeycomb RF shielded vent into the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add these RF filters into the side of the box to show you how that works. The reason we are gonna do this, uh, and we're adding these two right here, USB and ethernet, not this one, we'll explain it. But the reason why you might wanna do that is to pass data from outside of the box to the inside, data and power. A lot of customers don't understand exactly how you get data and power from outside to inside of an enclosure while still blocking external Wi-Fi. Uh, cell signals, Bluetooth, and other types of signals. This is the way to do it. So these have special circuits inside and they're made uh, especially for this purpose. So we'll put them in the side here. I've pre-drilled two holes, one for the USB filter, which passes power and data, and one for the ethernet. This is a combination of power, ethernet, and two USB. We include a number of these filters in uh, MOS equipment products. Um, on the Mission Darkness Faraday line, such as a bag that has this USB filter or in our boxes, Faraday boxes, we have combinations of these. Uh, but this hole that I drilled, I'll turn the box here, uh, is really simple. It's easy to drill with the right bit. And then on the back side, we'll turn around here. This just shows the Faraday fabric. Uh, it doesn't need to be extremely clean because those flanges on the filters will be installed. And I'll start with the USB filter. This has just two rings and I'm gonna punch it in from the inside here that are on the threads of the filter. So I just push it in here and then I will tighten the ring on the back side. Okay, here we go. And I don't have a wrench, but if you were to do this, if you got these filters from us, uh, you could use a wrench to do that. But that's really nicely installed. The backside ring doesn't have to contact anything conductively. It's just gonna be here with the ring uh, that needs to attach to the filter to maintain conductivity with the Titan RF fabric going to the ring. Uh, we'll do the same thing for this ethernet filter. And now what I've got is Ethernet and USB filters attached inside of this box. Uh, super easy to do. The reason you might wanna do this, there's a number of reasons. Uh, you may have equipment on the inside that you wanna pass data or power uh, from outside inside to. You may be a forensic investigator building an enclosure for um, cell phone placement inside, making sure that you block external RF. Okay, now I'm gonna test the box. So we're gonna use our app on iOS. This is Faraday Test. On Android, it's MD Faraday Bag Tester. I'll click Start and I'm on uh, five gigahertz Wi-Fi. If you do this test yourself, you should do 2.4 and five gigahertz on Wi-Fi if you can, as well as cell. It's just gonna be good to get uh, the range of signals using the app. I'll leave this for about 20 seconds. Just talking a little bit about the cables here. If you're going to use external USB cables to connect this, or ethernet, which I'm sure you eventually will using these, you will want to use shielded cables, as high shielding as you can for the USB. And then um, generally STP shielded twisted pair is going to be the best for ethernet. Okay, now we'll open it up. What we want to see, uh, we're right next to the router, I should mention, this is a really good test because it's very high signal strength here. What we want to see is exactly this. I just push stop. You can see that after a few seconds when I locked the box, it went all the way down to zero. This means that it's working on Wi-Fi. We do actually have a bug in the app. It's showing a cell signal, but the color is Wi-Fi, um, which we're working on. But that's, uh, that's how you test it with this. Alternatively, if you have a signal analyzer or any other um, ways of testing, that's good as well. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, drop us a line at info at mosequipment.com and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.